lawful wedded husband. To be my... I found out myself what love is all about. Hey, everybody, it's me, Nikki. Hey, welcome to Rancho with Ricardo. We are here to talk about what them soaps. Okay, this is a recap of GH. But before we get into all that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on and share me with your people. Whether you like it over here or not, we love a pain troll. We love a subscribe troll as long as you were subscribed and liking and commenting. I, I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit those links in the description box down below. Vote.gov, vote.org. Make sure you are registered to vote. Make sure you are kept up to date about what's going on on your ballots and the policies that people are running off of and everything that's happening in your city, your town, your county, your state, your parish. Okay? And go vote in those little elections, those medium-sized elections, and the big elections. Okay? It's a trickle-up system, if you hear me. But with that being said, also, don't forget to hit my links, okay? My Amazon shop well amazon storefront and a few other things but with that being said let's get into this recap of what happened on general hospital today okay now down to the hospital heather is all so happy okay she out of prison and she run up to laura and she's you know i'm free i'm free i'm free 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 at last free at last oh god almighty heather crazy ass is free at last and you know alexis arrives and you know elizabeth's like Steven, let me talk to you. So she's like, what y'all doing here? What's happening? You taking her to Sedona? And she was like, Steve was like, listen, my mama need me. And she needed to be far from people she hurt. So she went to Sedona. And when Dante steps off the elevator, Heather informs Laura and Alexis that she is leaving for Charles for good. Okay? She leaving Port Charles for good. Dante has heard that. And Laura, Laura and Alexis are doing their best to appear sympathetic and not smiling because it's just like oh yeah her crazy ass need to be gone like we're not gonna forget how heather dangled little baby danny um over about over the roof of gh a uh, general hospital and was about to drop him we're not gonna forget about that but before laura could leave you know heather's like i have a request she wants to see ace one last time so anna comes into brendan's office she barges in and she was like listen i need valentine's location I need to bring Charlotte home so she can see her mother. She needs to be by her mother's side right now. And basically it comes down to had Anna not tipped Valentine off, everybody would still be here. And she was like, I thought I was doing the right thing by Charlotte. And Brennan is like, mm, you shot that girl. And I have no information on her. Okay. And listen, Anna confirms that Lulu's family doesn't know that she's the reason Charlotte isn't here and she needs to make it right. And he's like, listen, I wish you luck. All the luck in the world. I hope you I hope you make it. I hope you succeed. But I ain't got nothing for you. And it was like, I know you hiding her. I'm gonna find out. <sighs> and he has to remind her one more time. Charlotte not being here is on you because nobody told you to go around there telling that man to take off and she said well whatever happens next is on you and it's just like not you threatening people so down to her office nina and drew is talking you know and she's warning him about you know the people feel like he's out of touch and he's just a rich divorcee okay he's a rich playboy divorcee and she rips off his suit jacket and hands him a flannel shirt and she was like listen people need to see less drew quartermain and more drew kane okay drew kane was a rough and tough you know, tumble guy, okay, real, you know, in the woods, chopping down trees, and he's maybe like a little Paul Bunyan, he rode down to earth, working class, he was in the military, very decorated, Drew Quartermain is a rich, mm, a trust fund baby, yeah, we need less of that, okay, mingle amongst the folks, calm and talk, talk to the people, Okay, less Drew Quartermain, more Drew Kane. Okay, get it together. So Jason is like, listen, 
Holly ain't to be trusted. So he down there at Sonny's office when Holly come back in. And she was like, you know, I thought the deal was between the two of us. And Sonny says, since she hasn't been upfront about the diamonds, Jason is here to, as, you know, a deal breaker. Okay, he's his, his involvement is a deal breaker. And when he mentions that Sidwell is on his way to Port Charles, Holly quickly, you was like, listen, listen, new agreement. He was like, I want a 5% increase. And I <laughs> in my cut, when it comes to the diamonds, and I want to hold on to the diamonds. Holly agrees, but she keeps one diamond with her because, you know, trust is a two-way street. And I was like, you should have just let her keep all them damn diamonds and told her to get the phone because she about to bring hell to Port Charles. And after she leaves, Sonny entrusts Jason with the bag of diamonds and leaves for the hospital. And it's like, oh boy, oh boy, this is about to be messy. So down in the stables, Sasha has to tell Cody that they can never be together. And he's like, why? Your Uncle Robert is my father. And he's like, I don't believe it. And he's like, Holly is a con artist. And she shows him the DNA test. And it's like, it was true. We first cousins. We can't be together. No P in the V. None of that can happen. And he pissed off. He processed this news. This is a new reality. He done lost his good thing. Everything that was keeping him from being a con artist, other than the fact that he did change for himself, is gone. He puts the test aside and he knows it's true. And he spent his whole life reaching for things he couldn't have. And of course, when he finally get his good thing in life, Sasha, he can't have it because they is cousins. They is cousins. She was like, we can still be friends. And he was like, I don't want to be friends. He was like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to be friends with you. I thought me and you had a future. The last few months, it was me and you. We was going to get up out of here. We going we wasn't going to work for the quarter mains no more. We was going to buy where I used to live. And we was going to have a great time. We was going to start a family. And now we cousins. And it's just like, ah. I feel bad for him. But you can't, you can't touch your cousin. That's nasty. So he run off. So down to the hospital, Laura calls, you know, Kevin to tell him that Heather wants to meet Ace before she leaves for Arizona. But Laura can't be there. So she asks him to supervise the visit. Steve takes, you know, Heather over to the townhouse to see Ace. And, you know, he plays with his toy, his toy airplane and she's talking to him. And Steve thanks Kevin for letting Heather see, you know, Ace and everything. And he explains he and Laura don't want Heather to feel like she has unfinished business here. She just wants to, you know, they just want to make sure she can get all her stuff taken care of and get the out of everybody's lives, okay? And Heather says an emotional goodbye to her grandson, not suspect, her grandson, and tells him, you know, I'll be back. And it's just like, oh, hell. So Anna, you know, pops over to, you know, the little restaurant and asks Jason to help find Charlotte. And he's like, listen, Spinelli, I need some help. And he learns that Anna believes that Brennan is helping keep Valentina and Charlotte off grid. And she needs, you know, Spinelli's help to find them, you know, where they are off the books. And, you know, he agrees to help. And she was like, I knew I could count on you because, you know, Jason trusts you and, you know, Jason trusts me and I trust him. Everybody trusts each other. And Jason just looking at her, but he had the bag of diamonds. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is horrible. Horrible. We don't trust nobody around here. Who we trust? Not Anna. Who do we support? Not Anna. Why? Because she's a spy. So Sonny comes down to the hospital to support Dante. And, you know, Alexis fills in Laura about Rick getting Heather released. And Elizabeth comes and tells them that Sam is out of surgery and she's resting comfortably. And down to the stable, Sasha leaves a message for Mac. And Holly is like, hey, girl. And Sasha was like, you're dead to me. Now, Cody then went down to the bar. He doing shots of tequila. He throwing them back. Okay, and he come, and here comes Nina with Drew, and you know a Navy SEAL greets Drew, who invites him to sit in a booth, and a bartender tells Cody that Drew seems like a good guy, and Cody, drunk as a skunk, tells the bartender that <laughs> Drew has a situation ship with Nina and kissed Whitlow. So he stumbles to Drew's booth and angrily asks for a word. Okay, he drunk. Okay, drunk as a skunk. So Drew gets up and suggests, you know, maybe you should get some fresh air. And instead of getting some fresh air, Cody punches him and calls him a smug bastard and shouts for all to hear that Drew's been making out with his nephew's wife while banging her mom. Ha ha ha! Woo, baby, that's a mess. Now we all know Sam is <laughs> Sam gonna die. We all know that. We know Sam going to die. So I don't know why y'all decided to tell us she made it through. Give everybody a false hope that she made it through and then snatched the rug from up under him. 
But boy, oh boy, I was sure as hell wondering how we was going to figure the f- out or how everybody was going to find out about Drew, Willow, Nina. I thought it was going to be a little bit of George and he told Ned or Ned heard him. So Ned was using that to his advantage. I thought the people was going to be bumping and grinding sooner or later. Oh, no. We have found <laughs> a drunk, pissed off, broken hearted Cody has let it be known to the rest of the world that Drew is kissing on his nephew's wife while banging her moms. This is messy. I don't know if this is my type of mess, but this is messy. But with that being said, that was it for GH. That was it for this recap. Don't forget to hit them links. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and share me with your people. And also, don't forget to go watch the episodes for yourself and then come back and comment so we can have a cute little discussion. But with that being said, that was it. That was all. I don't have no more to give y'all and I'll see y'all later for the next one. Bye.